Hey there YouTube, today we have Glingar on the lead, it's a nice 1500 CP, he's got wing attack, dig, and aerial ace, it's the lead off. Then we've got Metacham, and if you watch the video you'll see I start with the regular and then I switch to the, non, to the shiny. Counter Ice Punch Psychic, great safe swap. And then we have Superior with Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, and Aerial Ace as the closer and the occasional safe swap. Okay, let's get right into this video. Super excited to show you guys this one. I've got Glingar, Metacham, and Superior. And if you guys watched my last video, it didn't get very many views, but um, I tanked pretty hard. When Master League came out, I was very close to, I think I was t up to 23, uh, 23, 44 or something like that. Tanked all the way down to just about 2000 or just below it. And then I managed to find that team that I did two four two four one sets in. Kind of climbed a little bit, but I was still like 2030 kind of thing. So you'll see actually this video where I sort of started and this particular set that I'm showing, I went 5 0 -ing. And then I rode this team all the way up to uh, 2477. So I was just about to veteran. Couldn't quite get over the hump uh, before it switched to Ultra League. I do have an exciting video for Ultra League already uh, that I need to make. But uh, yeah, this team I gained well over 450 ELO with. Uh, showing this battle here, like or these sets, these five battles, and then I jumped forward to one of the last battles that I did in the Great League, <coughs> where you can see that I have the shiny. So I did switch to the shiny Metacham because I was using a rank 13 and non-shiny, as you can see here, that one is a rank 13. And then I discovered uh, one day I was out and I caught a rank 13 shiny. And then when I was appraising it, I discovered that I actually had this one, which is I believe rank 18, but it has a higher attack stat. So I decided to build this one and start running it uh, simply to win CMP ties against other meta charms. Because the higher uh, rank you're using, the lower attack you have, so I figured this one's still really high ranked, but it has a little bit higher attack. So it's gonna hit a little bit harder and it's gonna win a couple of those CMP ties against other meta gems. Worked out really well for me. So I've rambled on now for a bit, just wanted to get all that information out to you guys. But uh, yeah, so we I've never used Glingar or Superior really in any battle videos. I did use Superior in one of my previous Great League videos and that was the first time I had built one or used it. Uh, Glingar is amazing. It's I actually kind of prefer the non-shadow. I do see, I did face a lot of shadow ones. I'm not sure if I have that on video at all, but uh, it actually beats the shadow ones, just going straight wing attack, or aerial ace, sorry, wing attack, aerial ace. Um, it beats the shadow ones because it's got a little bit more bulk. So I'll actually showcast this next battle here. So we'll wait for an opponent here, I guess. Missed, missed editing this one a little bit, it looks like. Now that I'm done rambling on, we're just sitting here waiting and waiting. So let's see here. When does this battle start? Counting better. Oh, an error. I didn't edit that out. Okay, so let's get back into it here. This will be a fast, bit faster here now. So as you can see there, I've got two wins out of the out of two battles in five set, or like a best of five. So here you can see there I'm at 2027. So that shows how far down I had tanked and that's after I won two sets at 4-1 in, in Master League. So you can see how far down I tanked. So here I got Bastodon on the lead against the Glengar. <coughs> I'm gonna stay in. Quite honestly, nothing that Bastodon throws at me is going to require me to take a shield. So I'm gonna go straight for the dig. No point baiting. It does about half health. And they haven't switched out, so I'm a little bit curious about that. So I do opt to throw up the shield, just preserve a little bit of health, and sure enough, they switch out into a victory bell. So the wing attacks are gonna be doing super effective along with aerial ace here. So they do respect the aerial ace. I switch into superior. Remember in the intro I said sometimes the safe swap? Because in this case, uh, Victory Bell can throw an Acid Spray, but I'm resisting the Razor Leafs and the Aerial Ace 
is going to, as you can see there, do massive amounts of damage. So it's kind of the better of the two, and there they surprised me with the Sludge Bomb. I was fully expecting uh, Leaf Blade and Acid Spray from that. But that's okay, I got rid of it, and now Bastiodon comes back in, I am at another dig. Fire that off, and I take out the Bastiodon, I decide to let it go. So now I'm in a really good spot because I still have a shield, and I've got um, a move on my Glengar and I have a full Metacham. So if I can get their shield here and they bait me with a power-up punch, which is really unfortunate. That's the, I think the only Metacham that I have seen in all of my Great League battles this round that threw a power-up punch. So every single other one has Psychic and Ice Punch. Actually, that's not true. I think I saw two. I think I saw two the, the whole time. So anyways, I go for Psychic here. That gets them into the yellow. And at this point, I'm down a shield, so they're gonna throw, I think this is actually my loss. I went, no, it, it can't be a loss because I went 5-0 in this one. So they go power up punch again, which allows me to get to the ice punch. If they had psychic to there, I would have been done. And so I was able to take them out with an ice punch. They let it go. They must have figured that I had energy on my Glengar. I'm not sure if I did have a move or not. I wasn't watching. So there's a three. Did I not edit these? It's weird. Okay. I thought I edited all that. I must have missed the, those those little pieces. So Lantern. So you're gonna see here, I can survive a Surf, but I do think I shield this. Yeah, I shield the Surf. And this is kind of a bit of a tricky one because the Spark isn't effective and Dig is super effective against them. So you don't really want to switch out but you do have to respect the, sh the serves, right? So I get to a dig, they let that go through, and I'm gonna right away throw an aerial ace to attempt to get them to shield, or I guess they just decided to let it go. So I switch into superior again, and this is again, they can throw any energy that they want, thunderbolt, surf, doesn't matter, they're not gonna hurt me. And I do draw out the skeldridge, I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Go for the Aerial Ace here. Frenzy Plant would be heavily resisted. They do put up a shield. And I go for another, or I go for a Frenzy Plant. Just after I said it would be heavily resisted. I wanted to see if it would hit any harder uh, in the case of a Medicham, even though Aerial Ace is super effective and Frenzy Plant is not, it actually, Frenzy Plant hits harder, does more damage. So Aerial Ace gets the last shield. They've been able to farm me down here. And so I bring in Glingar. Go for an Aerial Ace there, but they get to a move first. So I put up the shield and that's, they got the Shadow Ball there. So I didn't want to bring in my Metacham and potentially get two Shadow Balls. So shield that one up and then in the back they've got another medcham so again this should be a pretty good game for me i am at an aerial ace here so we're gonna throw that does super effective damage now i can switch into my own medcham and pretty much just go for ice punch because i've got them into the red already so they go for a psychic go for an ice punch i'm over farming a little bit one thing I definitely learned as I was going through these battles is better timing, uh, preserving energy, knowing what I can and can't take, and stuff like that. So the battles later on got a lot more competitive and a lot better. Also, I was a much higher rank at that point. So you can see I did a 5-0 set, and I think I got one more battle here, and that's... So there, I climbed up to 2098, and now you'll see... Oh, maybe you missed it. It was too quick. But now I've got the shot, the shiny Metacham, and I'm much higher ELO. So, Victory Bell and the lead here. They switch into uh, Lickitung. And most times, if you switch fast enough, you're able to get off a Psychic and live two Body Slams. And then I think you can throw an Ice Punch. But I do decide to shield this one. I played it differently every time I played. 
As you can see there, I've got two ice punches and I haven't thrown a sidekick yet. I let this body slam go through. And I'm at almost two sidekicks, so I go for the first one and I believe that they let this go. So they let it go, so then they'll bring in the victory bell again, I'm sure. But I still have an ice punch loaded. So I go for an ice punch. They do get a razor leaf through. And this is going to get a shield. So that's good. So now I can bring in, what do I bring in? Superior or Glingar? I would come in with Glingar and they switch into a Bastiodon. So this is looking pretty good for me because I can stay in with Glingar, throw the digs, and then I still have Superior with Aerial Ace to take care of the Victory Bell. So they let that first dig go through. I'm gonna get to another one. Plus, if they take this out, and I, I can get to um, uh, Frenzy Plant still with Superior. So that's almost the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy the videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Really helps the channel. Having a lot of fun making these and uh, had a blast climbing through Ace and uh, um, Great League. So I have another video, like I said, to make. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. They just gave up there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.